What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another edition of Sports to the Wire. For those of you who are actually new to the show, I am your host, as always, Rashid White. All right, let's get into the video. Let's get right into this. Uh, you can see with the title, thumbnail, and everything, Knicks, Nets, Heat, uh, uh, Donovan's, uh, Mitchell's preferred destinations if he's traded. So uh, according to, uh, what was it, The Athletic? He hasn't asked for a trade yet, but if he were to be dealt, he would prefer to be end up with the Knicks, the Nets, or the Heat. So, of course, with the Nets, as long as Ben Simmons is under contract, then um, uh, you, he definitely can't be traded because of the, re- the weird, the, I'm sorry, the weird rookie rookie rule that's actually there with the contracts and everything. So, um, and I'm definitely not trading no damn Ben Simmons for some Donovan Mitchell, man. Hell no, hell no. And I advise other teams not to give up so much man the, the uh what's his name danny ainge actually wants a king's ransom for this dude man six picks which will actually and i understand why danny danny ainge wants to do it because with these draft picks and with the, with the guys coming out you never know who can be a bus uh there's injuries it takes a long time to actually develop players in a sense though depending on who it is even if you get like a, a top-notch player I say if he was to get like a, a Kevin Durant coming out or a Kobe Bryant coming out, that type of player, it still takes a while for them to actually uh, develop in a sense, though. So I understand why they're actually doing it. But let's get into the stats of Donovan Mitchell right here. And listen, I don't know what's the big hype on Donovan Mitchell. I know he's a good player. And I'm not just probably because... It's the summertime, and it's a, it's it's you know not really nothing going on in the NBA in a sense though. But I mean, it's probably like twenty something players I would actually take over Donovan Mitchell in a sense though. So the main thing with me is his size. So if you look at his size, six uh, one. This is the problem with Donovan Mitchell in a sense though, and. He can do well in the regular season, but let's say you get into the get into the playoffs, man. I mean, they're gonna spread the floor out and they're going to really attack him. So if he if he winds up going into the east, I mean, you got Giannis, you got it, he has to deal with four times a year. Um, you have Ben Simmons, who's almost a seven foot point guard, and you got Kevin Durant. Uh you got the Boston Celtics. <laughs> they're big and they're physical. So he's six one. His three point shooting percentage is thirty five percent from three. Uh, so his field goal percentage is not really that great. Forty four percent from three. So I'm not one of these really analytic nerds or anything like that. But forty four percent field goal percentage. I mean that that means he chucks up a lot of bad shots. Now again with the Knicks, he don't want him with the Knicks is because they already have. Uh, under it would be an undersized backcourt, two six one guards with six six uh six one Jalen Brunson and a six one shooting guard. I mean, how's he gonna defend? And listen, you got a guard in the NBA, you know. I say this all the time you have to play defense. There's a reason why you see a lot of guys. Uh, let's take the Brooklyn Nets, you'll see Cam Thomas for an example. Um, he has he doesn't really guard. So that's why he doesn't really get a lot of playing time in a sense, though. So you got to guard in the NBA. You have to guard. And you're 6 1. <sighs> I just don't see how you can contest shooters in a sense. So like, let's say if you have Clay Thompson. Um, Clay Thompson is 6 7. He's 6 1. So I want size, man. I want guys that 6 6, 6 7 or better that can actually contest uh, three pointers and get a hand up and, uh, and, um, you know, sometimes you got to run three-point shooters up the line in this sense, though. But, yeah, 6-1. And if his three-point shot is not going, then he's going to actually have to take it to the basket. And, again, these guys in the NBA today are hyper-athletic. Hyper-athletic. Uh, it, it's a propensity to get hurt. You know, injuries there. Uh, I don't, you know, just me. So we'll see. The Nets, hell no. I mean, that's my team. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a Brooklyn Nets fan. Followed by the Knicks after that. Don't don't really want him. He's not going to really help you. Uh, coaches will game plan for him and just spread him out. Especially the East is tough, man. 
East is tough. So even if he goes to the Heat, I don't know if he actually truly makes them better. There's also a leadership component to it. Um, he couldn't get along with Rudy Gobert. Didn't want to throw him the ball. Uh, you know, so you can, you know, not getting along with teammates. That's not, you know, I can't work things out. That's not a, a good thing right there, man. I don't want that. So, all right, we'll wrap the video up. If you like the video, please like, comment, subscribe, and certainly share the video. When you share, the universe certainly shares back with you. Peace.